So today I'm going to show you how to integrate your GCP services with your .NET program. So now the service which I'm using is PubSub. PubSub is a messaging service. Now in order to use the service, you need to create topic. So now I have already created the topic uh, for the interest of time. And the name of that is my queues. And once you create the topic, you need to create subscriptions. So I've already created the subscription as well. So if you see, this is my subscription ID. You can define it, customize it. And now, once you create the subscription, you need to push message into this uh, queues, what we call as topics in terms of GCP. Now I'm gonna show you how to you know, push messages via .NET program. So this is my .NET program and uh, these are the enough constants that I've defined. This is project ID, topic ID, and subscription ID. So these are the three essential things that you need to define. Um, after that, you need to define uh, environment variables. So environment for setting up the environment variables, you need a JSON file and have to generate this JSON file. Uh, I'm gonna show you those. If you see APIs, APIs and services. This is the place where you need to you know, enable APIs and services, create your credentials. So once you create your credentials here, you would be able to you know, uh, create that JSON file. So now once you have set this uh, credentials, and the JSON file as environment variable, you need to create publisher client. And publisher client has a function called create a sync. And then uh, once you set this up, hit this method, you know, a publisher client would be created. Now, how do you generate these classes? This is created by importing NuGet packages uh, that Google offers. Um, this is the one for PubSub. This is the NuGet package for PubSub. So now once you set the uh, publisher client, uh, you need to create a message request. Message request uh, has a class called PubSub message and it has a property called data. And this is the property which holds the message body. Now, uh, in order to create a response, you need to hit the method called publish async provided by Google GCP uh, SDK. And once you hit this response, you're gonna uh, get a message ID in string format. So now let's you know, run the solution and see how it works. So now the environment variable is set and the publisher client would be created. If you see, you have all the properties for publisher client. Now message request should be created So now once you, you know, use this class and you know, message data would you know, uh, consist of your message. And now you need to hit publish async method which will push your message to uh, the topic. If you see a new message ID is created and this, uh confirms that you know a message is created in the topic uh, let's confirm it in the gcp now i'm gonna go to pop sub service and go to my topic and i'm gonna say view messages i'm gonna select the subscription and then i'm gonna say pull so this is my sample message. Let me debug again. And then 